Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pasta TV. Today, I want to talk again about Jack Doherty. Now, if you don't know who Jack Doherty is, I have made a couple videos about him in the past, but just as a brief recap, he is a kick IRL streamer who got popular by doing these pranks in public where he would harass people or just plain annoy them, and his bodyguard would get in between him and the person that he was aggravating, even to the point of having his bodyguard assault someone. Well, now he's put out an apology video, and I just kind of want to watch it and go over it and, and pick it apart and see really what it's all about. Like, I don't know, that's what I feel like. I just want to give back more and feel like not a piece of shit. Like, I've done a lot in life, and I genuinely just want to give back more and f Like, oh, I don't know. I feel like we've kind of heard this side of Jack before. I think I covered in one of my other videos how sometimes he goes on Twitter... And he makes these posts about like giving back money to the community or giving away cars or giving like OnlyFans girls a bunch of money. And I'm pretty sure all of that is just done on Jack's part to get clout. I mean, it's it's always this big promotion. It's always this big event. Like I'm giving away one hundred thousand dollars. I'm giving away all these Rolexes. I'm, I'm doing all this. And he does it for the numbers. So him saying that he just wants to give back and do better right now. I'm not really buying it. Just help people and feel like I've made an impact on people's lives and not just doing things for views. You know what I mean? It's like I want to change and I just want to be a good person. And I want people to see me as a good person. One thing I do have to say, though, is if Jack here is being genuine, he is very successful. I mean, he's very wealthy. He didn't really get that way by any kind of genuine content or by doing anything good in the world. But he is very popular and he is he's very wealthy. So if he wanted to become the next like Mr. Beast, but on kick, right? If he wanted to give back and, and give back to the community and show support for like good causes, he could do it. He has the resources. I'm just not convinced that he'll follow through with it because of his track record. I'm tired of this bad image, and I know people always, it, it, it's hard growing up on social media, but it's like I chose to do that, and I love doing that. I wouldn't trade this for anything. Like, I get excited as f to wake up every single day. I'm so excited to wake up and do this. Like, I'm so happy that I get to do this, and I'm so blessed, and that's why I've been doing this shit for eight years consistently. I've never taken a break ever. That part I believe. It, it is very hard to grow up on social media, I, I can imagine. And him saying that he's lucky and that he's blessed and that he's excited to do this every day, I really believe him. If I was Jack's age again, and which, was, God, that was a long time ago, but if I was and I was lucky enough to have millions and millions just for making videos, I would be ecstatic. And I'd feel like the luckiest dude in the world to get up and, and get to do that every day. So I do believe what he's saying here, and he just needs to take those feelings and channel them positively like he's talking about right now from YouTube, TikTok, nothing. I've do, done it eight years consistently and it's because I enjoy it and I get excited to wake up and if I ever feel down or anything, I'm just like, I get to do this. I don't have to do this. It's all mentality. And if you just have a positive mentality, everything is easy in life to do. So if you just have a positive mindset towards absolutely everything you do in life, everything is so much easier because if you have a negative mindset on something, it's just going to make you not want to do it. It's just going to make you hate it. So if you like make everything positive your life will be so much more positive be so i agree with what he's saying here but i don't understand what it has to do with the point of, of this video uh this video is supposed to be you know jack telling the truth and apologizing and he's just saying if you have a positive outlook you can do whatever you want i mean it's it's true that that's i i think that's solid advice just coming from jack doherty it doesn't it doesn't really hit the same way. So much more fun, so much more enjoyable, and you'll be able to do things for a lot longer. Like, how many YouTubers have been doing YouTube for eight years and haven't burnt out yet? Like, I'm one of them, and I just kept going up, and it's because I have a good mentality. And it's like, I'm only 20 years old, but I know a lot, I've learned a lot, I've been through a lot. Like, I've, I'm 20 years old, but I've been evicted from three $10 million mansions and gotten sued by each one of my landlords. Like, I, I'm sorry, I'm obviously- Wait. <laughs> Hold, hold on. What, what? Excuse me? I've learned a lot. I've been through a lot. Like, I've, I'm 20 years old, but I've been evicted from three $10 million mansions and gotten sued by each one of my landlords. Like, is that is that a flex? Is that supposed to be a flex? You've gotten kicked out of $10 million mansions and been sued by all of your landlords? That's... How do you even do that? How do you manage to do that? <laughs> like, I wish I even got the chance to be evicted from a $10 million mansion. Like, what What the hell, dude? Okay. 
All right, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna keep, <laughs> just gonna keep going. This is about how I thought it would go. I, I'm sorry. I'm obviously it took me three times to learn my lesson, but it's just like I have to make content, and not all the time it's my fault. It's not like I'm a. It's like it's like risk to reward. Or right, yeah, get super 50k, but make 500k worth of uh, worth of content, a million dollars worth of content, whatever it is. It's just like all right, yeah. There's like it's a business expense at the end of the day. So it's like there's certain calculated decisions I have to make, or it's like going through a lawsuit, blah blah. But it's like not all the time it goes there. You just settle, give them money, everyone's happy. You shouldn't consider. <laughs> You shouldn't consider a lawsuit a business expense. <laughs> like I get, I get what he's saying. I get, like you know, get sued for fifty thousand and settle in order to make five million dollars worth of content. Like I, I, I get that he's saying the money was worth it, but he's literally saying here that as long as you make enough money, you can just settle the lawsuit and it doesn't matter. Is, is this is this his mentality when it comes to having his bodyguard assault someone that who cares if the bodyguard assaults someone because you can just settle that lawsuit if it happens in order to make a million dollars off the, the reactions of the videos like is this is if this is his mentality he's learned nothing <laughs> he's, he's literally learned nothing if this is how he's thinking it's cool whatever but it's just like it's just that certain shows you the certain shit to go through that not everyone else has to go through and it's just like I experience people my age don't experience and have to deal with, but it makes me more mature. It makes me mm, disagree. <laughs> disagree. He has to do deal things. He has to deal with things that other people his age does not have to deal with. I agree with that, but he said it makes him more mature. I don't think that that's the case, bro. I don't, I don't think that's the case. Stronger minded and I can keep doing mm. everything I'm doing. Like right now it's, it's 6 30 in the morning and i'm still live streaming like, what the f wrong with me the sun's coming up who the f does that someone put me to f sleep why the why isn't this melatonin not working what the like god damn it i'm gonna f sue the medical pharmacy where's johnson and johnson at god damn <laughs> is he just is he just like high out of his mind right now <laughs> is he he's either high out of his mind or he is just like super overtired and was like i'm just gonna make a video just i'm just i'm just gonna, you know what screw it. i'm just gonna rant for eight minutes <laughs> What is wrong with me? Help me. Huh. I'm not gonna go on the floor. Bad idea. Let me see what the chat thinks. Am I crazy, guys? Am I insane? W Jack, oh, I appreciate you guys. I love everyone and I really wanna give back to all my fans. I wish I can help every one of you guys watching this and I really wish <coughs> people could see the good in me, but I don't care. I don't, I mean, I do care. I really, I do, I really do care and I wanna do more, but I don't care to shove it in everyone's face. Like I want people to just see it genuinely come out of me. And it's, I just want people to know like, like, like sometimes I pray, like I not pray I, about this. I'm just saying like, I sometimes wish that I had like a little, a little bird following me all day that like can just capture like, uh, like just certain what? moments that like, <laughs> I think people would see that like I'm a normal kid and I'm not just some e like egotistical maniac. Like I'm just like everyone else. I go to sleep in the same clothes as everyone else. Look, uh, I, okay. I kind of feel him here. So understandably, since he's a live streamer and IRL streamer and he streams all the time, people only see what's on camera. They're not going to see what he does when the camera turns off. They're not going to see his like normal, how, how he normally acts without trying to like chase clout or make content. That's understandable because I think any content creator gets that. But I don't really think that outweighs the fact that he's still saying that getting sued and lawsuits are worth it if you have enough views and money. I don't think it, like sure he probably deflates when the cameras are off. He probably just like sighs and wishes he was a normal kid, right? And that it does suck. You know that that is a real issue um that him and a lot of other content creators probably either do or need therapy for right you need you need to like be able to deal with that mentally because it's a struggle and i can see why jack would be sad about that but again i don't think it outweighs the fact that he's literally saying it's okay to be a bad person if you make enough money off of it look i'm in a hoodie and shorts like i wore these shorts like the past four days they smell like shit. but i mean <laughs> I, I don't know but uh, that's a bad point but you know what i mean i i'm just like everyone else like uh, at the end of the day, I'm a kid, and we all got a lot to learn in life, and you just got to keep pushing through. I'm young. 
And that is probably the saddest part to me. Jack here is young. I mean, like he said, he's been doing this for eight years and he started when he was a literal child and he's still very, very young. And no matter what trajectory he goes in life, no matter how long he streams for when he decides to stop, he's still really just immature because he's young. Right. And that and having to live this kind of life when you're that age can be very traumatizing. It can, it can cause a lot of issues. And I really hope that as Jack gets older and matures, no matter what he does, I hope he learns from everything he's doing. I hope he grows to be a better person. And I hope this is the first step in it. And even though I don't really genuinely believe most of what he's saying right now, I hope it at least kind of kickstarts his mind to be like, maybe I actually should listen to my own advice. I'm just getting started. And I just got to think that every day. It's a new day. Look at it. The sun's coming up. We all out here and it's good vibes only, no matter what other people think. Like, good. I'm proud of myself. And I, and I know I can do better, and I will do better, and I'm working on it. But yeah, glad I went live tonight, actually. I feel like I need to get this off my chest. I never get to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you guys. I always have a filmer, blah, 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 and I can never act myself. But it's like, I feel like I'm just talking to my phone, but not really. Like, I know I'm touching people right now, and I'm able to like talk to people right now, and, and like just get through to people, but without like having to worry about people's facial expressions around me, you know? It's like, I don't get to really see how we react. I'm just talking to you guys right now, telling you how I feel. I'm not even looking at the chat, like, my phone's off. I feel like, and this might be a hot take, I feel like Jack would probably be better off if he just streamed like this during his IRL streams rather than do everything else that he did. I know he got popular off like the big pranks, the stuff that hurt people, the, the the shock value of it all. And that would definitely get him more views and more money than this kind of content. But if he just had a lot of one on ones with chat and just did IRL streams where he opened up and just said what he was thinking, I think that would make him a much more likable character and a much more likable streamer than he currently is. Because this right here, even if he's being like disingenuous, it's it's still nice to hear, you know, you want to, if you're in a kick chat, if you're watching this stream and this, this dude is telling you like, you know, we got to, you know, every day we have to make it a new day. We have to try our best. We have to, we have to grow and mature and we, and we got to do everything that we can. That's motivational and that's much better. And it would feel better to watch than watching him and his bodyguard go and harass people in a mall or go and harass people on a pier or watch him like, tattoo his name on an OnlyFans girl, right? Like that kind of content, it's trashy. You know, people don't actually like it. They just watch it the same reason they watch trashy reality TV. But this, this is pretty nice. But like, I don't have to like look around the room and see how people are reacting or seeing how they're feeling or like looking for anyone's validation on like, oh, was that funny, this and that. It's just like, I can just be me, be normal and have a real conversation with you guys without worrying about like, yo, why, like someone next to me being like, yo, why is Jack like, like getting all serious or this and that like why is the mood changing like I don't want to the mood in the room and like because not everyone like a lot there's always a lot of random people around me and not everyone gets me it, except for the people that like are around me every day you know like they all get me they know how I am they understand like what I do every day and they understand like like you know like they just they understand me and how I like how I function every day and how I go about my day and I really like my everyone I'm around and I really appreciate everyone I'm around because not everyone gets me this is kind of giving off the vibes of like, you know, a, a kid struggling with his identity. But at the end of the day, we all know he's going to just go back the next day and start making trashy content again because he feels like that's what he needs to do. And it it, it kind of hurts to see a little bit. It, it kind of hurts because I can imagine myself being 19 and 20 or 20 years old back then. I didn't really know who I was. I didn't really know who I wanted to be. I didn't really know what to do with my life. And if I had like millions and millions of dollars and all these super famous people around me telling me what to do, I probably would be doing that as well. You know, it, it's just, unfortunately he's a kid, he's immature. He's going to do what he thinks he needs to. And unfortunately in this case, it's making trashy kick content. And like, I'm a very busy person. And I just, I'm very particular about certain shit. Like I tell people when I wake up, please just don't talk to me. Cause I'm in my, I'm in, I, I'm woke up. I'm trying to like really plan my day. I literally wake up, I make breakfast. And while I'm making breakfast, all I ask is that I just want to be alone in the morning. But I'm also the first one to wake up every morning. Like no one is up when I'm up anyway. So I never even have to worry about that. Everyone sleeps until like 
way after I'm out of the shower. But I tell everyone, please don't talk to me until I'm after the shower. Like I always make breakfast, go in the shower, and then I'm, my day started and I'm in work mode for the rest of the day. But it's like I wake up maybe like eight, nine o'clock, and then in the shower by 9.30 after I ate breakfast. And, and then my day started by an hour after I wake up and I'm locked in and I'm ready to fucking go and I'm planning out my day and I'm lit. But everyone around me understands how I work and understands how I function and they know when to you know, talk to me and bother me because I, you guys have to understand, I'm around 20 people around me constantly every day and everyone, has to obvi everyone obviously has something to do with me so they always have to come ask me for something and it's like, it's like I'm constantly being bombarded but on top of that I'm in and out of meetings and it's like I got a lot going on and a lot of people talk to me and it's like it's easy to ver get very frustrated and like, like, you know, annoyed and it's just like, I'm always scared, like, uh, is this person like walking this way to f bombard me with a question when I'm like trying to do something right now? And it's like, everyone's constantly coming up to me and it's like in the middle of something and like, and it's like, I'm trying to do something and it's- God, if that was my life when I was 20 years old, I would have lost my mind. That's, that's, you know, that's basically having, having a high paying job. That's what having a high paying job feels like. But if I was that way when I was 19, 20, I would have, I would have lost it. I would have absolutely lost it. So, I mean, maybe, maybe I, I do understand him in this case where, uh, if I was in his position, I, I probably just wouldn't be able to handle it. It, it sounds like a lot. I mean, maybe, maybe the money makes it seem all worth it. I don't know, but that does seem like something that would cause me to just freak out. And it, it sounds like it kind of does for him too. It's like, I can never like get a break. And it's just like, I'm always like, but it's like, I don't know. I'm, I'm going on a tangent. I'm just ranting for no reason, but I just want to say I love everyone around me. Everyone gets me. I love all my friends. I love all my family. I love all my employees. W everyone. I would not be here without everyone around me. They keep me going. And like, for real, like we have a really good environment over here. Everyone here is family to me. And I fucking love everyone. Genuinely, like, like I can list everyone's names right now. Like I genuinely just care about everyone in this house and like I'm glad that we get to do what we do for a living and I'm glad we get to just all be like it's like one big family and we all get to make a living together and work together and it's just fun and it's obviously hard work but it's like I'd rather do this than absolutely anything else and I'm passionate about it so I enjoy doing it and I wouldn't trade it for anything else and why the f hasn't this melatonin hit god all right so after watching that entire video there's definitely a few things that I want to say. <laughs> First of all, he didn't apologize uh, for any of his past content, for any of the harassment that he's done, for anything that his bodyguards have done, for anything that may have caused harm to any other person, um, which is a little disappointing because this type of video, honestly, it's not great. He did just kind of rant and give like a five minute long motivational speech that no one really asked for. Um, so it's not a great video, but it does give some insight onto how Jack probably feels when the camera is off. It sounds like, you know, he is very overwhelmed with all the stuff that goes into what he does with all the people running up to him, all the phone calls, all the meetings, all like the, the pressure. Um, sounds like it's kind of getting to him. But this is probably the first tiny glimpse that we've had that really explains why he makes the type of content that he does. And I think as we all kind of knew, it all just boils down to him being immature, him being young, um, that him seeing success in something and thinking that he needs to run with it. Even though, like I said in the video, I think this type of content suits Jack a lot better. He seems to be okay at just speaking one-on-one -on -one with chat about talking generally of how he feels, I mean, it, it seems like this part of the Jack Doherty character would be much more likable than the one that we usually see. Do I think this video is suitable to be an apology? No, not at all. Do I think that it's suitable to be really any type of heart to heart? Barely, but there is a little bit there. There's a little bit of hope shining through in Jack's heart. And I hope that one day it comes out because as I said, I think after this, he's just going to go right back to all of his old antics and nothing is really going to change. Hopefully he proves me wrong though. Hopefully he proves everyone wrong. But as far as it seems, this is probably just going to be a one-off of him saying how he feels. And if he's being genuine, who knows? Who knows if it's real or not?
Well, I think we have our answer. Here he is today getting his name tattooed on an OnlyFans girl's neck and drawing dicks on his windshield. So I guess nothing really changed. Well, oh, well, he tried, I guess. Well, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.